Today we're going to look at a unique educational program. South Paulding High School in Douglasville, Georgia, home of the Spartans, has a construction class that specifically focuses on technology. The program is designed to prepare students to use technology in construction. Here to tell us all about the program is instructor Kelly Almond. He is also the president of the Georgia Association for Career and Technical Education. So Kelly, I'm pretty excited to hear what, how you're inspiring this next generation of kids to really look at construction as, as an opportunity. So tell us what you're doing with South Paulding High School and how you're teaching both boys and girls to get excited about construction technology. Well, uh, thanks for asking, and, and this is something I'm very passionate about. And it's, you know, instead of the uh, traditional uh, shop class, classes, industrial art classes like we, we have grown accustomed to over the years. Uh, we have in in construction, uh, the construction teaching industry, we've started going more towards actual uh, building construction and, and framing and electrical, plumbing, masonry and all that. And what I do is I start the students out in an introductory level with using the National Center for Construction Education and Reach, Research, the NCCER curriculum. And that basically starts them out their first year. Uh, with what equates to the OSHA 10 hour uh, class. And so then we move from there and I, uh, the second level, I give them a taste of four different trade areas, the carpentry, electrical, masonry, plumbing. And uh, then from there, the, the third level, they'll specialize in one of those areas. And typically that's carpentry and they will get carpentry level one certification, which, uh, which basically through the NCCER curriculum gives them industry recognized credentials. And so I think right now that in such a competitive job market uh, where, where people are, you know, you're looking for jobs, I think that's going to give these young people a leg up on, on the competition that, that, you know, the ones that don't, they may, not, they may have experience in construction, but they don't have the credentials to prove the training that they've been through. So uh, and just one other thing that we do focus on that I, I hear more from industry uh, all the time is the soft skills, the employability skills, communication skills, the things like that. You know, I can train the kids to, you know, get the job. I can train them on the skills, but do they have the skills to keep the job? So, so are, are you seeing a lot, Kelly, with these young kids now enjoying construction? Because it's not traditionally right now. We're seeing a skill shortage right now in construction. We see a lot of the baby boomers retiring, and we need to get this new generation of kids liking construction and seeing that there's a lot of great opportunity. Is this helping you inspire this next generation of kids to see that construction really is a lot of great opportunities? Well, yeah, I, I'm, there are the more and more now. They are getting getting excited about construction, uh, it, but it's been kind of a struggle because we've been our own worst enemy, telling, you know, uh, the only way to success is a four year degree. And and yes, that is one avenue, but it's not the only way uh, to be successful. Uh, and and each person has to define their own their own meaning of success and so these students uh male and female I, you know i've getting getting more females in my classes and uh they are they're getting excited about it and so you know the uh the it, it's building because we're not just building birdhouses and wooden bowls and all uh, i'm teaching them how to frame uh walls whether it be wood walls or, or uh, metal framing uh, I'm teaching them the basics of electricity and, and electrical work and masonry and plumbing and things like that. And so, so yeah, it's uh, uh, it and and it's an industry where within just a few years these students could possibly own their own business. And so, you know, I, I try to in, uh, in, instill the uh, spirit of entrepreneurship. So. So that's an interesting point you make because construction truly is family, multi-generational businesses. Are you helping them understand, I mean, like someone like yourself, why you do it? I mean, what gets you so excited that you're encouraging them to understand why families are involved in businesses? Well, and, and I can relay my, my personal story, you know, starting uh, being my dad's crew at 12 years old. And so... Uh, it, letting them know that there is a way to go about getting construction skills rather than going about it, you know, just strictly through the, uh, the hands-on approach, uh, with no formal, uh, training. So, you know, if I can help shortcut that and give them the classroom instruction as well as the hands-on instruction, uh, all at the same time, then, you know, they, 
they've shortcutted the process by several years instead of all just you know being hands-on training and the thing about it is the the exciting thing for me about construction this is another thing that i try to instill in my students is the fact that with construction it is something that they can go back years from now and see the results of their hard work and their 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 efforts so we just recently poured uh, my students and my classes uh, just recently poured 20 cubic yards of concrete for a sidewalk and a uh, concrete pad for a gazebo. Uh, that was live work. That was work that is that they can come back. And that was at our school. They can come back, you know, 15, 20 years from now, whenever they're picking up and dropping off their own kids and say, yeah, I remember the day we did that. And so that's that's the thing about construction. It's there and, and you can see what you've done. And looking at this right now, what do you see with all these kids? Are, are kids coming out and you're saying, I'm excited about this, you know, and they feel like they've been productive. Are, are those, is that the greatest achievement you're seeing is kids leaving this program saying, I really learned something. I have a skill set I'm really proud of. Well, I give you a, just an example. Uh, you know, we have, uh, of course, all schools, you've got to check in process for visitors and all. But then whenever we come in, uh, you know, I'll be in school and they, uh, the, a student will come in through the, through the shop door and, you know, you tell them, okay, well, you need to go check in. This is a former student of mine. You need to check in the front office. And they come in and uh, well, Mr. Hall, I just I just want to show you something. They take me out back and they've got their business vehicle and they've got the, their sign on the side of their vehicle. And they I just wanted to give you a business card in case you have any work that you need something done. So that is so rewarding to see my former students coming back to me and they have started their own business or they're successful with uh, with uh, another construction company. So uh, that that's just very rewarding for me to see. Kelly, it's great having you on the show. Thank you so much, and we wish you continued success with your program. Thank you, Peggy. I appreciate it. All right, and that's Learn It for today. Mm -hmm.